Good morning. It's a beautiful summer's day. It's midday. Probably the worst time for landscape photography. But I've got a day off and I thought I'd do a bit of a recce of a site I've never been to, which is uh, Steetley Pier in Hartlepool. Um, don't expect to get any stunning, obviously, sunsets in the middle of the day, etc., but it'll just be nice to have a good look around, have a wander along the beach, and see what I can find. So come with me and we'll find out. So, as usual in the northeast, in the middle of summer, you've pretty much got the beach to yourself. Right, let's have a think about composition. So, the sun is kind of over my shoulder. Uh, so, this is probably the wrong side of the pier because it'll be kind of backlit. So, you can much deal with the pier. But, there's actually, if I shoot the other way, I kind of coming this way there will be no sun sure. right so if I shoot this way you see you've got those nice white fluffy clouds but it is quite harsh the light with the kind of sun there however if I go the other side of the pier and shoot back that way it is just purely blue sky so while we're here let's try this end and then we'll head down the other end to see what we see those houses haven't got a bad view Okay, let's talk composition, first one of today. Um, quite obviously you've got these lovely, what's left of these wooden stakes and the pier going out and the tide coming in. So we've got a rising tide, so I have to keep an eye on the tripod doesn't sink. Um, I'm gonna try a few shutter speeds. I'm gonna put a six stop on, try and get a two or three second capture and then maybe a longer exposure. So let's have a look and see what we can get on such a glorious day. So the trick is here, just waiting for the timing right of the waves. So try and 0.7 of a second and waiting for kind of a big wave to come in and then just as it's starting to go out to give those nice movement in the white surf. But it's a case of patience because there seems to be every now and again a big one that comes up round my feet and then the rest of the time it's kind of settling. Oh, these two look promising. Okay, so we've come to the other side of the pier, as you can see by my face. It's kind of the sun is going directly onto the pier, so the pier is a bit better lit than the other side. Uh, compositionally, it's maybe not as interesting, although there are some kind of bits of wooden groins and bits and bobs sticking around. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you what we can see. Okay, so there we have it. There's some more groins on this side. There's a didn't realise there's a structure on the end of the pier. Presumably that's where I think for the aluminium works it used to draw in seawater. Uh, presumably for cooling and things, and it had to be way out there so that even at low tide it would suck in water. The ship's on the horizon, and if we pan right the way around, there's that broken gap in the pier, and then it continues back to the housing. So the gap's a bit of a dilemma for me. It's kind of a feature. So I need to either make it compositionally or kind of put it out the frame like that, or just go into the zoom at the end of the frame. And then there's those groins at the front. Um, looking at the photos I took earlier, I think if it had been a dull grey day, the 10 stop might have worked better, but the sea's quite, um, well, not rough, but it's quite a bit of surf. So I think actually I prefer the, just a little bit of movement in the kind of half or, or 0.7 of a second in terms of the shutter speed, just to show that movement. So we'll have a bit more experiment and play, and we'll see what images we come up with. Yeah. 
okay so moved underneath the pier here sorry for the noise of the waves but as you can see we've got a lovely shot down the pier and you've got the shadows coming in from the bottom left and the bottom right leading you towards and that lovely symmetry of the pier I'll try this with a 10 stop There's a swing here as well, I'm very tempted to go on. There are some advantages of landscape photography in the summer. Like sitting on a swing on the beach and chilling. Looks like I'm not the only one filming. So we climbed up the top of the sand dunes to look down on the pier. Um, it's not much to this compositionally, obviously just looking straight down the pier. I think I'll try for the long exposure because um, there's not a lot happening in that beautiful blue sky. Albeit it's very warm and very nice. It's kind of boring from a photography perspective, but we'll see what we'll do, maybe a black and white. Okay, so this is just focusing about a third of the way down the pier. 10 stop filled F60 and that gives me about 30 seconds. So I think compositionally, if I get the 70 to 200 on and focus halfway down at the end of those pipes, that may look nice. So it's just the sea around it. We'll have a go, but oh boy, oh boy. It's such a nice day. Well, I think that's about enough for here. It'd be a great place for a sunrise or even a sunset if you get the clouds on the horizon. It's hot, I need to drink something to eat and then we'll head over to the mainland towards the harbour at Harleypool and see what we can get there. Cheers. So, welcome to Harleypool. Can't resist a picture here. The houses on the street were multicoloured, overlooking the harbour Right, this image here it's pretty straightforward. We've got this lovely green the rocks and the lighthouse in the distance. And um, that's it, really, focusing on the rocks. And then I'll do a, probably another exposure focusing on the lighthouse. Take the two, merge them in because the rocks are really close to the front of the lens, so they'll be sharp, but the lighthouse will be a bit blurry. So we'll probably do the two. Um, it's quite windy, so I'll try a long exposure, but I'm not sure with my little tri travel tripod I've got with me at the moment whether that will suffice, but we shall see. And there's a nice boat coming in. Just over there that I'll put in the frame of I must admit, I didn't know what was here, but it's a pleasant surprise, it's lovely.
okay there's a shot here nice simple um, use the chains down there as a leading line to the boat with the two rowing boats in the side and it's in a bit of a sorry state as Wingfield Castle And that's all from Hartlepool. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it.